is Phyllis Kung. I'm a licensed acupuncturist and owner of PK Acupuncture and Wellness Center. Um, so Stacy contacted me looking for an alternative to Botox, um, and so she was very interested in facial rejuvenation acupuncture. With facial rejuvenation acupuncture, um, what you're doing to the face is you're actually taking very tiny needles and creating microtraumas in the face. And what that does is stimulate blood flow and also the growth of elastin and collagen um, in your skin. Uh, as opposed to Botox, where when people are doing these sort of injectables, it's actually numbing the nerve and, the, and therefore could also damage possibly the blood supply to the area. Um, a lot of people say that the results from the facial rejuvenation acupuncture can take off up to 10 years off of your face. I'd say on average it's more between three and five years, um, but people do notice things like clumping and clumping of deeper lines, finer lines altogether disappearing, um, raised jowls, if there's any ptosis of the eyebrows, those get raised as well, reduction in bags, and in as little as one treatment people do notice clumping of um, fine lines and wrinkles and improved color in their face. And with facial rejuvenation acupuncture, after one five-week course of treatment, you would only need touch-ups at the most frequently once a year. Um, whereas with a lot of Botox uh, injectables, uh, in order to get you know the really realistic type of looking Botox where you still have some movement, you may have to go in as frequently as every three weeks to maintain that. So even though it's five weeks out of your life, it's just those five weeks and you don't have to keep coming in for maintenance. It's something because your skin has healed itself is basically what's going on.